Hello team. Uh, so let's uh, understand that how to download SQL dev database like that is Oracle database on your system. So we will be using Oracle 11G Express Edition because this is lightweight database which will not uh, make your system heavy or slow down. So and this is very easy to install and easy to configuration and use. So please download Oracle 11G Express Edition. How to download? You have to open the Google Chrome browser and then just search download Oracle 11G Express Edition. You will get the first link from Oracle, the oracle.com Express Edition. Click on it. And on this next page, just click on this downloads here. Click on this download. Currently you can see Oracle database 18C, but we are targeting 11G. So where is 11G? Scroll down on this blue bar, you see there's a button prior release archive. Click on it. You will see the Oracle RG R2 Express. Oracle database 11G R2 Express edition. This is for Windows 64 32-bit and 64-bit. Click on it. It will be downloading in a zip format on your local machine. Our uh, this will be size around 316 MB. So what we do next? Next we have to uh, extract this uh, zip and then click on install. So you see it will be downloaded like this. If you open it, it will having a disk one folder inside. And inside this we are having three three files: response folder, upgrade folder, and setup exe. So just extract it and uh, install and click on this setup.exe. Get it installed. So your Oracle database is installed. Intermittently it will ask you to enter password. So that time be very careful while entering password. This password you will be using in all connections. So make it uniform like something tiger is very very popular in that case. So after installation is done now our next target is to download the SQL developer. SQL developer is the is a GUI. It means user interface for this database so that you can see where to create table, how the table is creating table structure and everything that you can see. So this uh, how to download this SQL developer. Again go to the Chrome and just type uh, download Oracle SQL developer. So very first link is from Oracle and you can see this is 490 MB. So just download it. Again, this will be downloaded as a zip. So you have to unzip and then you have to get it installed like this. So you can unzip, you can unzip this and inside that you are having a SQL developer.exe. Just get it installed. If both files have been installed correctly, then you will see on your desktop there is a, a shortcut created name as a get started. Let us get started. So usually when you click on it, you will see one error. Which error? If you're getting this error like window cannot find HTTP 127.0.0 this and uh, make sure you have typed the name correctly and then try again. If you're getting this error, the solution is very simple. You have to go to Oracle uh, C drive Oracle and this folder Oracle exe app Oracle product. I'll, I'll show you. See, I'm going to C drive then Oracle exe, then app, then Oracle, then I have to go to product, 11.2 server, and then I have to find that get started. Right click in, uh, right click on it and then click on properties. Here you have, you will be having this value before, HTTP port like that. So we have to just add the port 8080 here. So your updated value will be like this. 8080 then slash apex slash f then p and some values are there. So what we did we just removed this part and put 8080 done. Saved it and just click on get started. So once you click on get started your oracle database will be started. We will not getting a broken page or something like that. See Oracle database and started like that. So this is very simple setup. Once you have done this, you can start your writing the SQL query. So this is the Oracle. Now I want to launch SQL developer. Then go to your desktop and you can start with Oracle. Uh, 
Oracle SQL developer. So this is the Java Java application. Meanwhile, it is starting. So so this this sometime it may take. So it is it is launching. It is launching. So wait. Uh, yeah, it is launched. So now my SQL developer is launched. So I can simply start. Uh, my uh, database is connected. I simply going to start with my command. That's all done. The setup easy done. Thank you.